so <laughs> wow this is weird vlogging at school <laughs> so basically I just joined skills USA uh, this was kind of like this was so I decided to join like I decided to join last minute and I missed the deadline but they made an exception for me so fortunately that means that I'm now part of skills USA next thing for me to do is to <laughs> Explain why I have a camera on campus and I'm recording myself. Um, next thing for me to do is so today was the practice round for Skills USA in competition. Really, me and my partner just like planned out what we're gonna do, how we're gonna take over the world. And tomorrow is the actual tryouts for Skills. And then after that, we go to try out and then we, we can actually climb up in different tiers. <laughs> Where like you have to make an interview, it has to be like an exact 60 second interview um, and what I had to do was be on camera basically like what I'm doing right now and like do like a mock interview about bullying and how we can prevent it and I felt like I was great on camera. Hopefully I could move on to the next uh, like tier, like competition tier, like a higher competition. In the beginning, I wanted to work with someone particular because they are like one of the few people that I know that's like serious about what they're doing, um, and like it goes with what I'm doing. I think, like, if I talk to my friends, right, uh, most of them are not gonna help me. They like they don't want it as as bad as me, and like um, they just don't probably get what I'm doing. We probably don't have a particular chemistry, even if we're best friends. Uh, when it comes to creating and stuff like that, people really want to take their lives easy, and I see that, and, but it just leaves me to do everything by myself. But this other person is pretty much, I feel, super similar to me in their backstory. Like, like yeah, in their backstory, with, like where they grew up, where they moved to, and family situation and stuff, and just their worth, work ethic. Like, I work a lot, and Knowing that I work a lot, I still try to see. I, just, I still try to say, "Yo, I'm giving myself bull. I should work even harder, and even more, and or work smarter." You know. And I feel like this person, I don't know if they're like that, but yo, they put in the hours to own stuff, and like, I really respect that. I wanted to work with somebody like that, but I don't know if we're gonna make it with each other. My partner was really good at the camera ops. And if you're watching this, um, partner, my partner was was good with those shots. Um, but I was hoping since he's a first year, he would uh, not do as well on camera. And the two, would, the dynamic of the teacher seeing a good camera operator, the one I originally wanted to work with, and me, the talent, would go nicely with each other. We'd work on next competition and that it probably won't happen because my partner was really good uh, our project came out really nice I think and so it's probably not gonna happen but either way I really want to vlog it I, I feel like I want to have this competitive spirit in my vlogs and um, create like a Django theory effect which which I've talked about before which, which is basically the stakes increase higher and higher and higher as the video goes so like you're watching and you're like, oh snap, is it really going to happen or are they really going to do it? Uh, is it really going to go down? And that increases until you get the big payoff at the end. Um, I feel like I'd get that a lot if I were in competitions. So I hope I can go on to the next tier. Other skills you'll say competitions, I was thinking about a lot. Like, there's this thing where, there's this thing where you give a speech, a demo on something in your industry. Mine is like the film industry. And I don't know if social media influencing is like part of the film industry, but if it is, I don't even know how to demonstrate it. Like, do I hold up the camera and literally vlog everybody? Also, apparently if I give a speech, they're very conservative and I hate that. I was explaining that me giving a speech, right? Those people, uh, excuse you say wants to keep that like a box, like everyone the same, no one's an outlier. And I'm all about the outlier, the maverick, the rebellion, uh, the rebel, 
Um, and if I, f I feel like if I'm in that box, I will try to break that box. And so that's probably not the best competition for me to do. Another one is job interview. I don't ever want to apply for a job uh, as far as like starting off at McDonald's or you know Target or Dunkin Donuts. I want to do exactly what I want to do and make money off of it and I know I can do that. So I never want to actually apply for a job. However, I'm very confident that I could get a job. Like maybe I'm screwing myself with videos and the stuff that I'm posting online and that's probably why I'm not going to get a job. I am a good talker, like I feel like at least. Maybe, I know a lot of times it does come out on the camera, because on the camera, a lot of times I'm like vulnerable, like a lot of times I'm like crying or like talking about something personal, and I stutter a lot, and that also happens in real life, yo, if I need to, I can be like good when talking to other people, I think. Which also leads me to another competition interest, where basically it's like, I think, prepared speech. No, it's like something else I think where they give you a topic and you instantly have to come up with three to five minutes of speech talking about that topic. So like, yo, I know I'm good at that. Like, I, I, yo, I, cause I talk a lot on my videos and it just goes on and on and I'm just rambling and a lot of my videos are rambling and I feel like I, I have this talent of taking whatever topic and doing that. Um, on command although I know it's gonna be difficult and I know it's not gonna come out really good probably I still think I got it so those are two that I'm like interested in or at least the coming up with a speech on the spot three to five minutes thing is what I'm interested in as well as the video thing um, I was thinking about if I win all local competitions but I feel like it's probably a little bit obsessive obsessive um, I really just want to vlog it you know Another thing, I wanted, I wanted to go to um, the musical in my home school. I'm not going to do it anymore because the auditions for actors have passed and also if I wanted to work on crew, I get, a, if I wanted to go to my home school, the alternative high school gets there at like 3 and so they would have already started 30 minutes in because they start at right, like right after school so I don't want to be like the one tech crew guy that has to come 30 minutes late and a lot of times that's when I use the bathroom like that's when I have to use the bathroom um, so just, I don't think it's gonna work I'm thinking to, to work with uh, a buddy of mine who is offering to go to an actual like audition with me thing is one I can't sing very well I think I need to practice my voice and I'm very uncomfortable doing that in this certain situation that I am, that I am in, in my home. And two, it is like $600 to audition. So I'm, I, I think I should pass it. And I don't know if I'm all prepared. Um, I could probably take singing lessons, but that's a lot more money that I'm not making right now. Um, so yeah. I'm thinking maybe I leave off on a few competitions, even if I don't advance to any other competition. Schools USA during class is just gonna have some parties a lot of times, and you literally have free food that's amazing. Well, twenty dollar like membership when you get in, but for all of that sweet food that the sweet food that the culinary students make, it's like it's worth it. I think, and I get to be with uh, my friends and have a good time. I think while it lasts, so I think it's worth it but I hope to go on to competition and vlog that. I also, there was another competition I wanted to get back into, which was robotics. Um, I was in robotics during sixth grade. We won, I think, New York State for best invention that I came up with, that I was never really given much credit to because I was a sixth grader. Everyone was a seven, everyone, everyone else was like a seventh or eighth grader. Um, they were respected more. It was pretty much me coming up with the, it was pretty much me coming up with the concept and this 8th grader I think at the time or 7th grader coming up with the exact specifications of how it would launch so like I had this idea of um, launching a cannon in extreme like we had a topic of like how can you how can you invent something to, to help in this situation and that situation was like extreme disaster there's a flood and there's people on top of the roofs and it's about to go down right my idea was to like have a little gun 
that shoots out like a tennis ball. In the tennis ball came vital stuff. Uh, at the time, I was thinking like nuts or pills or something. I now can look at it and think like that's not very useful in that type of situation. But it was what I came up with at the time. And I thought maybe it still is a good idea because I aren't there some situations where there's floods and they have to stay up for a few days? So that's what we came up with and then I wasn't really given credit for it, but whatever. So I wanted to get back into it as of my last year in high school and it's like I have six, less than six months left. I have six months left, I think, of high school and then I'm out of high school forever. I wanted to go back into it with my boy Greg who has edited my videos and helped me and supported me so much. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna go in there, I think, because, yo, <laughs> my ex and I think her new boyfriend are in there. And so, like, if I go in, I think it's gonna be extremely, like, awkward, uncomfortable, and whatever. Plus, I have, plus, my mind hurts a lot when even thinking about her or the situation that we were in so like that's out <laughs> so but I don't know I I think I, I, I once lived to the principle where it's like nothing can stop me nothing will stop me only I can stop me I think I still live through that but like do I <sighs> that's so uncomfortable man Com uncomfortable man like but at the same time I am letting it stop me from what, what I want to do right Like, robotic, it's, I guess it's like, how much do I want robotics? Want robotics. Um, and what the competition would be is like creating a robot to do certain tasks uh, and, to, and to go through different obstacles. You create this robot, the best one can go on to, I think, like states and the nationals, I think. Um, but I don't think I wanted that bad. I don't think I'll put myself in such a uh, horrific situ situation mentally just so I can vlog it. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it'll attract the views that would be necessary for me to put myself in that situation. Uh, and I don't even know how many views I would need to be in a type of, type of situation where I'm like going through so much mentally and it's just so uncomfortable. So that's out. Um, but yeah, I think I'm probably going to look through more skill stuff and see exactly what I want to submit myself in and compete in. But, um, yeah. That's, like, the update. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to support the channel, links in the description. They're basically Sweatcoin wins one stuff while you walk and make money while you earn stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and, um, I hope to see you later. Goodbye! Okay, <laughs>